Okay, in this problem we're asked to verify that x cubed plus y cubed equals x plus c defines x as a function of y and z near the point p equals 1, 1, 1. And then after doing so, we are asked to calculate the partial derivative of x with respect to y at p and the partial derivative of x with respect to z at p. So first, we know that anywhere the partial derivative of f with respect to x is non-zero, um, we can implicitly define x as a function of y and z. So first, let's define our function f. So we have f, and we want to let's double check that our point p. So we'll double check that our point p is actually on the level curve given. So we get f of p is equal to zero, and since we just brought these terms over our level curve is at zero. So our point is on our surface. And now we want to um, verify that uh, f defines x as a function of y and z. And as I stated earlier, we know that it does so if our partial derivative of f with respect to x at p is non-zero. And so we can go ahead and calculate our partial derivative of f with respect to x. And we get 3x squared minus 1. And we evaluate that at p. So we get 2 as our partial derivative of f with respect to x at p. And clearly that's non-zero, so we know that f implicitly defines x as a function of y and z near our point p. And now we want to use that information to calculate our partial derivative of x with respect to y and our partial derivative of x with respect to z at p. And the implicit function theorem tells us that um, the partial derivative of x with respect to y is equal to the negation of the partial derivative of f with respect to y over the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we've already calculated the partial derivative of f with respect to x, and the same, the same thing goes for our partial derivative with respect to z. And we want to evaluate this, both of these, at our point P. Okay, so first we need to calculate the partial derivative of f with respect to y and the partial derivative of f with respect to z. So. Partial derivative of f with respect to y is is 3y squared. And the partial derivative of f with respect to z is negative 1. And we're going to evaluate this at p. So we get 3. And then for our partial derivative of f with respect to z, it's at all points negative 1, so we don't even need to evaluate it. 
So we can go ahead and plug in our information. We have negative three halves and So we have negative 3 halves for our partial derivative of x with respect to y at p. And we have positive 1 half for our partial derivative of x with respect to z. So we verified that our function defines x as a function of y and z near p. And then we also calculated the partial derivatives of x with respect to y and z at p.